Max, if I look at the universe, and in, in one, one day I see tremendous order, unbelievable structure. Another day I see what looks like chaos. How, how do we deal with order and chaos, order and disorder? It feels to me like there's an ongoing battle in the universe between forces of order and disorder. On one hand, you have the second law of thermodynamics, as it's called, constantly trying to make things messier. That's why things always break when I drop them and my <laughs> room gets all cluttered up, you know. On the other hand, we sometimes, by human intervention, create things which are very orderly. And um, I have a rather unusual minority view on what causes decrease in entropy, an increase in order, which is that it has to do with observation and with the presence of an observer who, who looks at things. After all, it's kind of weird that our universe is much more ordered than um, we would have expected it to be at random, given that it's just supposed to get messier all the time. Because that would have mean that would mean that it's so ordered now because it was even more ordered in the past, which was because it was even more ordered before then, and we would have a very special sort of beginning of things. And um, if if you uh, combine quantum mechanics with the rest of physics, what you find is that it, any system you're studying tends to get more disordered when you're not paying attention to it, where order is almost a synonym for how much information you have about it. Mm. It's not surprising if you look away and then someone, my son comes and messes with it, you know, now I know less about the state of it. Whereas when I look at it, I'm getting information about it and I'm like, oh, it's like this, it's like this. And I know, and I, think, I feel it's ordered. So you're saying that an observer is not just the, uh, the, the analysis of it, but it has to do with something to cause it? I have a rather, radical minority view that observation actually is responsible for, re for increasing order, the order that we see in the universe. So if, and where, if I look at the universe just a little bit after it's been doing all its big banging and making galaxies and stuff like this, by transferring just a few hundred bits of information into my brain, I will end up with a universe that's gigabytes, in fact, enormous numbers of, of bits lower and information, entropy, and more order than it was to start with. Actually, very consistent with the nice orderly universe we see here. And the basic way it works is that the universe starts out to be in a so-called quantum superposition of almost all different states at the same time. You know, these stars are formed over here in this pattern, and they're formed over there in this pattern, etc. And since I initially, without looking, don't have a clue where they are, I have a huge disorder to cope with, a, a huge so-called entropy. But as soon as I start to look a little bit, I, it's very easy to tell very radically different universes apart. Whether there's a planet there or not takes only one bit of information or so, even if it contains, or a star, even if it contains 10 to the 57 particles in it, right? And uh, so I actually think one of the re things we've overlooked is our own importance in understanding the universe. We've been so obsessed about the Copernican stuff of not talking about ourselves and just looking at the outside world and trying to describe it that we've forgotten that maybe we do also need to have some kind of model of our interaction with it to fully understand. But does that affect just our psychology or that affects the reality of what we see? Tr traditionally in physics we've looked at just this object that we're studying as if that's all there was and and it pretended that we can ignore us as the observer and the environment around it. More recently, people have started realizing that the environment matters. It causes decoherence and all kind of other important physics effects. And I think now we need to go full circle and add ourselves back in too and, and model our interactions with things because we have to acknowledge that um, so much of the things we say about the universe and, and treat as absolute properties of it are really only true through our particular vantage point. If there's a multiverse with many different copies of me, you know, there, what, one, what I want to know is what I'm seeing and what's relevant for predicting my future. It doesn't matter if there's another Max, you know, in a totally different setting. And um, I think to ultimately understand the mystery of why our universe is so ordered, even though we might have expected it to just be very disordered, we have to 
understand the role we ourselves play in interacting with our universe. And I think the secret ultimately lies in our observing it.